Take one. Cat. Slate two. My name is Katrina Jackson. A lot of people know me as Cat Tat, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois, now living in LA and running my own tattoo shop, Enigma Beverly Hills. Art is very important to me, um, especially as tattoo artists. A lot of people don't know that a lot of tattoo artists are artists as well. So every tattoo artist um, at Enigma is also an amazing painter. When I go too long without tattooing or painting or doing some type of art, it's like I forget who I am. Art is definitely my purpose. It's why I'm here. My very first tattoo, I was 16 when I got it. It was in a basement in Chicago, um, but I still have it. I didn't cover it and I love it. <laughs> I knew I wanted to tattoo after I got my first tattoo. I was like, I want to do this. So I figured what better time than now. I ordered up a $99 tattoo kit. It came to my dorm and I had already hyped up like all the students there. Like, yeah, I'm a tattoo artist from Chicago. You know, when you go to college, you can kind of like recreate yourself like create a new name. So I had already put in people's minds that I was a tattoo artist, even though I had never done one before. The most memorable tattoo um, that I've given someone was definitely my Auntie Jane. She had it on her bucket list that she wanted to get a tattoo from me. So in her last day, she had hospice set up in her home and I went out there to give her her very first tattoo. And I did her name, and her son's names and her husband's name across her wrist. And then um, after I finished her tattoo, I'm like, I need you to tattoo me. A week later, she passed away. So just having that memory and sharing that moment with her, like it meant the world to me. People definitely enjoy my artwork and respect my artwork really, really hard to get my art to a level that I'm proud of. And my mother, she was always a boss lady and she would always have a large office with like this big chair and this big desk and be like hey miss jackson what's up boss lady hey boss lady so as a child just seeing that it just inspired me like my mom and she was so fly my mom she was always into fashion she made being a boss lady just look so good the tattoo industry is still a very male dominated industry i think what makes me um a force in this industry is my upbringing. Like laziness was never an option for me. Like I knew whatever field I was gonna be in, I was gonna be successful at it. So I think that is what contributed to me being an entrepreneur. Walking into this industry, as many times as I've been told no or laughed at or not taken seriously because of what I look like or that I'm a female, it never offended me. It didn't hurt my feelings. It didn't stray me away. It made me want to kick the door down even more. It made me want to prove myself that I can do this. Not only are you not going to tell me that I can't do this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be great at it. I'm going to be one of the best and I'm going to do everything that people think I can't do. This tattoo was put on my arm. It was the first tattoo that I got that really um, made me commit to what I wanted to do. And it's taken me a long way. So for it to come full circle and now do this collaboration, it just makes sense. <laughs> the poster of the tattoo design of one of my tattoo designs is a big um, mosaic, a collage of all the tattoos that I've done over the years since the beginning of my career, since I began tattooing. So for it to be all put together from my very first works to one of my most recent works into a large picture of a tattoo that I just did, which I'm very, very proud of, it's mind blowing. For this collaboration, I chose to benefit the Genesee Center for Domestic Violence. I'm also a survivor of domestic violence. I've went through the experience. It was one of the most traumatic experiences of my life. When you look at the stories of women who are involved, they don't always have it as easy as I had it. They oftentimes, more than often, like have children with them. They don't know how to get out. They have to depend on their partners. They can't just leave. They don't have anywhere to go. So what Genesee Center for Domestic Violence, they're doing so much to help women who are stuck in this situation. When it comes to uh, brand collaborations, it's very important for me to only work with brands that I believe in and that um, are true to me. It being a, a brand that is ran by two females. One, I'm all about women empowerment and everything that you guys stand for, it was very important for me to collab with Venom on such an amazing project. What I'm going to do with my patch, which is only right, I feel, is put on my denim jacket, my Venom denim jacket. <laughs> That's seriously what I'm going to do, too.